Hey there, this is a recap of the Google's G Suite for education training for session one uh, that we had on August 30th. So the next session is going to be September 13th, but I wanted to create this video to do a quick recap for you over the different things that we went over and to give you guys just a little bit of a refresher or if you weren't able to attend the training uh, to give you a little video that you can review before attending the next one to kind of get caught up. Um, is there stuff that we will go over, um, maybe not as in detail, um, but we'll talk about again at the next session. So let's get started. So step one is let's go to google.com. And when you go there, you can sign in this top right hand corner and log in with your full college email address. So we'll use a test user here. So putting the at cgcc.edu is very important. And then we'll enter in our password. This is the same password you use to log into your email or to log onto a computer. Um, when you hop in here on the Google's main web page in the top right corner, we'll have our account clicking on your, uh, your circle up here, which will be the first initial of your name. So this test, you, uh, this test user starts with an E, so that's what you'll see. Um, we can change our picture here where it says change. If we had anything in of our uploaded photos, then we could choose that way. Um, we could also upload from a, the computer as well, but we'll leave it as it is right now. Um, you have different options inside of your My Account. Um, that's something that we will cover in a later session, so I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, this is the notifications icon. Um, if that ever shows a notification for you, it'll be in red and have a number on it for your notifications. Um, only certain Google applications will actually send you notifications here. So generally it's not something that you'll see or worry about. But the primary thing we wanted to talk about during session one was Google Apps, which is these nine boxes here. This is called the Google Apps menu. And now this is probably going to look different than what yours is. Um, these are all customizable. You can drag and drop different icons to your liking, and you can even scroll down to see other ones that may be down here that uh, you wanted to bring up to the top. So these are the applications you have access to, and the one we wanted to talk about uh, primarily during session one was Google Drive. So we'll go into that. And inside of Google Drive, it has three kind of sub-applications, if you will, um, which are Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. Now their counterparts would be for Microsoft Office, so that would be Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. And those are kind of the easiest way to think about it, as these are the uh, these are Google's version of those particular files. So um, to create a new file inside of your drive, uh, which this first thing you hop into here is my drive, so I'll talk about that actually real quick. So my drive, uh, so only you have access to this location. So this getting started PDF that will be in all of your drives, um, that is a file that belongs to you. So you can keep it in there, you can delete it, that's your file. Inside of your drive is, is your files. Uh, this is something similar to uh, what you'd see in a Q drive on, the, uh, on our local network. Um, so this is a, a, a location, except it has unlimited storage space, and you can access this from off campus just by logging into Google. If you want to create a new file, you can right click anywhere inside of this white blank space and choose any one of these options, whether a new folder, to upload some files, or to create brand new ones. Um, use this arrow over here. The default is a blank document, but we can also choose to create a document from a template. So under more, there's also other things under here if we'd like. Um, those are things that we didn't get into during session one. All right, so inside of my drive here, oh, and you can also create um, a file by using this blue button up here. So my preferred way of looking at my drive is in what's called list view, but you can choose grid view if you like, and this is usually the default for most people um, when you first have your account created. Uh, but you just click on either list view or grid view, whatever it shows you to switch your view back and forth. The eye icon that's right here is your view details. So you can see activity about your drive. Um, and if you select a file under the details tab at the very top, you'll see some information about that particular file. You can even add a description or you can see if you're sharing it with anybody right from here. When you select a file, you'll get some more icons that'll pop up here on the top. And these are very similar to what you get if you right click onto a file. Um, so it's just some helpful uh, ways and quick access to see different features. And these are all very useful in their own ways. 
So the last icon up here is the settings icon, which is the gear. And under the gear icon, the only one we talked about was the settings. Now inside here, the second box right here is called convert uploads. This is very important to have checked. By default, it will be unchecked. So what I recommend everyone to do when you first log in to Drive is to come in here and check that box to convert your uploaded files to the Google Docs editor format. Um, and I'll explain why here in a minute. All right, so inside of your drive here, let's, let's try creating a document. So we'll right click inside, or we can go up to the new button, and let's create a document from a template. So just by default, if we were to go in to create a document, it would just be a blank sheet. It looks a lot like Word, it acts a lot like Word, um, and, and that's kind of what you're familiar with. Now a new document, if you don't make any changes, nothing pops up, it doesn't save anywhere. So let's create one from a template now. By default, it'll show you Columbia Gorge Community College templates, which we don't have any yet. So if you want to go over here to the General tab at the very top, that's where you can see some of the cool templates that people have designed. There's about two dozen or so in here. Let's just create one from this one right here, just as an example. So this is kind of something that a document could look like if we wanted to. We can go through and replace the information with stuff that we'd like. Um, and if we want to, let's call this one Report example. Now one thing you'll notice inside of a document is that there's no save button. And the reason for that is because Google Docs, whether it's the Google Docs, Sheets, or Slides applications, they don't have a save button because everything saves automatically in real time. Um, so if I were to make a change, for example, if I were to take off this title up here where it says saving, boom, just done like that. What that means is that I can work on something here on this computer, and then I can just exit out, go somewhere else, pick it up on my, on my phone or on my iPad, and I can keep working on that same document. Um, I can easily transition from one device and one computer to another without ever having any fear of losing any, any of my files or any of my work um, due to, due to a technology failure. So that's one of the great things that's a little bonus about Google Docs and Google Drive. So now if we wanted to save this as a Word document that we wanted to email out to somebody, you can come over here to File, Download As. The default option, if you just click it, is Microsoft Word, but you can also choose other things like PDF. In here, in your My Drive now, because it opens up in a new tab, and we'll just go ahead and exit out of that tab for now. So back in your My Drive, here's that uh, report example document we had. If we right click it, we also have a download button here as well. That option will automatically convert it to Word because that's the default. And sure enough, it downloads it and it's here in our downloads folder now. So the reason why this settings icon or this setting to convert uploads is very important is that if we don't have that box checked, if we, let me delete this out here, let me actually show you how I did that. Click that. We'll choose to remove it. When we remove it, it comes here into the trash. We can always recover items out of our trash for up to um, 60 days, I believe, and maybe 60 to 90 days. So now if we have downloaded a file, now this is a Word document, and we'll drag it up here to upload it. So you can either upload by right-clicking and choosing Upload Either Files or Folders, or my preferred method is just to drag and drop. When you hover over it, you can see where it says drop files to instantly upload them to my drive. So that's what we did. So we uploaded a Word document, and here it is right here. If I go into it, it defaults to the preview view. So preview would be right here, um, but that's what the default is for this because there's no editing tools inside of Google Drive for Office documents. So if we wanted to open it with Google Docs, so what it's doing, it's creating a copy of that Word document as a Google Doc that you can then edit. The problem is, is that you keep your original Word document. So now if you were to go back into here and open with Google Docs again, it's actually creating a second copy of your Word document because you're saying you want to edit that original one again. So to avoid this whole hassle of having uh, multiple files appear, we will check that box and come back. And now when we drag it in here, and it uploads it, it skips the whole process of it coming in as a Word document, and it just immediately uploads it as a Google Doc. So that prevents the whole duplications and 
um, any possibility. So that's something I think is going to save a lot of time and a lot of headaches for people that are that are not as comfortable with the system. So you'll see it still says .docx. It's not really. That's just part of what the title is. You can come in. You can remove that that tag if you want. It doesn't hurt anything. All right. So that's what my drive would be like. Uh, it's kind of like your Q drive again. So you also have team drives. Now team drives would be similar to like a G shared or an I shared drive. Um, these are areas that are accessible by groups, committees, teams, um, departments that you are a member of. And if there's one that you are a member of and you don't see a team drive for and you'd like one, uh, just let me know and, and I can get that spun up for you. That's not a problem at all. So as an example here, um, this test user is a member of the fictional astrobiology department and the fictional cheer committee. So we'll go into that astrobiology department just to see. So up in here we can check under the membership. The membership is based on groups, so system administrators will always have access and astrobiology department. Me being a member, I have full access to this as well. Which means I can come in, I can create files, I can delete files, I can um, work collaboratively in real time with someone else on a document or on a presentation um, to make sure that everything is uh, up to date and that we're not working on multiple versions or copies and we're not emailing our revisions back and forth and trying to get things uh, squared away. We're just working in real time on the same document, spreadsheet, or slide, uh, slideshow. So um, let's, let's just show an example here of one of these slideshows. So here's a science fair project uh, template that I just uploaded in here. You'll notice it looks very similar to PowerPoint, and it, it's meant to be very similar and, and easy to use. Um, we didn't jump too much into these kind of things, um, but pretty much anything that you'd want to do in, in PowerPoint, you can do inside of Google Slides, and it does copy over when you upload files, um, all of those little nuanced features like maybe fade transitions and your timing and uh, pictures and all that, all that fun stuff. So all that stuff will come over with those. So team drives are a great place to work with your team and your groups on files um, that you all need to have access to and reference. Um, and it's a great location um, just for everything like that. So we also have computers. We'll skip over that for now. Didn't talk about that a whole lot. If anyone's shared something specifically with you, whether that's out of their my drive or a team drive, um, it'll show up under your shared with me. So, for example, if I went to share this report example with my main account, just start typing in their username or their first name or last name, and you'll get a searchable list. Um, so you can add in multiple people at the same time, and you can choose whether the people you're adding have edit access to your files, or in this case, let's say comment only access, and we can hit send. There is an advanced option if we want that gives us a bit more action, a uh, bit more actions that we can take. For example, we can choose not to notify people, um, or we can prevent editors from changing those access rules. Um, there's just lots of different things that we can do inside of here. Um, but anything that's shared with you will pop up here under your shared with me. Um, so if someone does share something with you, that's where you would find it. Under your recents, this will list out files and things that you have recently accessed, and sure enough, those are all files that I've actually recently accessed. So it's a quick way of just jumping back in. And let's say this uh, report example is something that I'm working on for a while. So I can right click on it and I can choose add a star. And by doing that, down under here under starred, that's where we're going to see any files that we have uh, pinned in a sense. We've started over here. Now Google Photos, I wouldn't worry about that too much. Um, we'll skip over that for now. And then under your trash, this is where if you have any other things that you've been working on and that you've trashed it and gotten rid of, it appears in here. And this automatically empties out, I believe, every 60 to 90 days. Um, but we do have uh, retention rules in place that will actually archive um, any of your trash files indefinitely. So uh, even if it disappears out of here, if there's something that you know last time you, you edited it or what it was called, things like that, uh, there's a good chance that we'll be able to go back and recover it for you. So team drives are a terrific tool. Um, My Drive is a terrific tool, and just Google Drive in general is an awesome tool um, for keeping your work and for working collaboratively with other people, as well as having universal access to your files and, and 
that automatic backup and and retention is is just invaluable for making sure that you never lose another document again. All right, well, thank you for watching the video. Um, again, we're going to have session two on September 13th, and I hope to see you guys there. Um, I will send out another email reminder with um, details of how you can join in remotely and the information for um, attending here in person. So thanks, and have a great day.